So next up on the case journey, Bellroy Leather. Now this was probably my favorite case for the Pixel 6 Pro last year. Um, I definitely wanna say I gave that one, you know, kind of the highest rating. It was a really dope case and it aged super, super well. So it's only it only makes perfect sense to have obviously the successor for the Pixel 7 series. And I'll let you know right up front, I did go ahead and take a quick peek. They made some 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 pretty different changes with this particular case from the 6 series. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is Bellroy Leather for the Pixel 7 Pro. All right, so the excitement is killing me. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So you can definitely see from the box up front, we got our Bellroy leather case, super slim, eco tan leather made with recycled plastics. Got some branding there on the side. And then I'll kind of let you guys freeze the video there if you want to read all that stuff there that's on the back. But let's go ahead and get this sucker out of the box. We kind of got this little pull out mechanic there. Got the case itself. You got some more writing here, so I'll kind of flash that so y'all can pause and read that. Okay, there you go. Now that's everything that comes in the box. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that off to the side. Now, here's the case itself. And already, um, I can definitely tell some differences. I haven't put it on the phone yet, but I kind of just felt it in my hand. And I did bring in the Bellroy from the 6 Pro, just to kind of illustrate a point. So I don't know if you can see that, maybe if I angle it there. You can kind of see the 7 Pro has a bit more like of that leathery texture versus the 6 Pro where it's more of like a smooth material. Now, that could 100% be because obviously I had the Bellroy for longer, you know, o o over time, the oils in your fingers get into the case and things like that. So it could have been because this one has obviously been aged for a year versus this one. If I remember correctly, this case started out just a little slippery, kind of the same as this one here. And then over time, as it aged, it got, you know, way more grippy. So that, that that's kind of just an attribute of leather as it is. But anyway, let's go ahead and throw the case uh, on the phone itself. And oh, I guess I can make a call out really quick. You got your same microfiber suede pattern here on the inside. Also, Bellroy does line it up on the side here as well. That way you don't just have like, you know, plastic or anything pushing up against your 7 Pro side rail. That way you don't get any scratches or anything like that on there. Um, you got your Bellroy logo right there. Now let's go ahead and get the phone in the case. You can see super nice tactile click in terms of fitting the phone in there. One of the things about the 6 Pro that was, wasn't really a negative, but it was just something that I kind of noticed and made mention of, you can actually move and you can probably see it. If not, you can actually move the, the phone inside of the case. It's honestly just not like the most tightest of fits. Now that could be because the case obviously wore in a bit more, or maybe just me pulling the phone in and out and you know swapping up cases, whatever. But I can definitely move the phone around in this particular case. Whereas with the 7 Pro, there is no movement whatsoever. There is no movement whatsoever. Case is 110% like locked there onto the phone. So like I said, don't see any issues with you know any type of fit. If it's super tight, super snub, almost like a skin in all honesty on this, you know, with this particular case. Let's go ahead and talk buttons. Now I'm just gonna click, let me power that down. Buttons honestly feel exactly the same. Obviously the 7 Pro's buttons feel a bit more tactile because this is a newer case, it should. Uh, power button feels just as good. And then again, as that wears, it's gonna be a little bit easier to hit those buttons too. So buttons feel really, really solid, no issues there. Let's take it to the bottom and look at that port. Nice wide open cutout at the bottom. So if you wanna use those third party cables, shouldn't have any issues here at all. Here's the back of the case. You get that nice edge to edge in terms of like the cutout for your camera bar. So you get a nice solid hit of whatever color your camera bar is in contrast to your case color. So really, really like that. The silver and black is, is really, really clean, really feeling that. Um, taking it to the top, you see you just got your little mic cut out there. And then on the front, what I'll call out, I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell this on camera, 
but it does have a a little bit bigger of a lip at the top and bottom and then also those corners they protrude a little bit more kind of similar to the rinky and the d brand grip where they kind of have that wedge design it's kind of the you know more of the same story here it just doesn't do it as much as those other two cases but it does it to a nice amount then also you got a nice little cutout here where it kind of wedges as well and that just gives your speaker you know your little speaker at the top a little bit more room to breathe that way you're not covering up that speaker the grip from the 6 pro didn't really have that at all it does have a nice top and bottom protection but as you can see there's next to no wedge on there at all so the uh, sides of the 7 pro case also they do kind of cover the like cover the sides a bit more and they were able to do that because google made the curves on the 7 series a lot less steep than they are on the 6 pro so it is so the curve is a little bit more subtle so case brands can actually bring that case material up over the phone just a little bit more just to make it a little bit more secure so like i said if you're running something like a tempered glass screen protector with this particular case it's definitely going to make it feel kind of more flush whereas now you know I, I don't have a tempered glass on you can definitely feel you know when you're trying to do your gestures you can feel like this little bottom piece right here right so like i said super dope not going to get in the way or anything like that but that is the bellroy leather case for the pixel 7 pro let me know what you all think about this one these go for i want to say 50 bucks or so i'll definitely leave a link down in the description box below that way if you're interested in one you know you can go ahead and pick one up for yourself but again bellroy leather case another hitter from bellroy shout out to them again for making a dope case but that's gonna do it for the video today as always this is ike's tech talk i'll catch you all in the next video peace